Hello, you are watching Colesco in News. I am Sardar Girtli with you in the studio today. In the next few minutes, we will talk about internet access worldwide. In our time of digital technology, using the internet is necessary in every field. Internet is used widely by private and government institutions, but there are still some countries and people who cannot reach the internet connection properly. Among them are some African countries. Making the telecommunication services more accessible for West African countries is the aim of Casutel project. Today, we speak with Andreas Fing, CEO of Casutel. Nice to meet you, Andreas, in Colesco in your studio. Nice to meet you too. Hello. Your company has 25 years of experience in the telecommunication market. Tell us a little bit, real quick, about Casutel. Well, Casuto is a new company for this project, but uh, the founders uh, have a long-term experience in, in, in telecoms. As you said, uh, I have started internet providers, I have started mobile operators, I run backbones and data centers. Uh, my partner David, um, he has built up TV networks and uh, lives in the area uh, since over 20 years. Why did you choose Africa to implement your project? Oh, that's very simple. I mean, the, there's a market opportunity uh, in West Africa uh, and you don't have this opportunity anywhere else uh, because uh, everybody uh, in other countries have uh, high-speed internet and there they don't. So it's a big opportunity to um, allow an area to get access to high-speed internet, which has been kind of forgotten. And that's, that also means, uh, you know, there's a big gap in terms of uh, availability and that makes the project very interesting. You are currently running your ICO that will last until November 18. What is the main goal of the ICO? Well, the, the goal of the ICO is uh, to raise money for the company to execute this project. So we're looking for shareholders who invest their money into the company so we can build this infrastructure earn money and uh, pay dividends uh, to the investors. Tell us please, what sort of advantages will your investors have from your project? Well, in our case, uh, we run the ICO in a very traditional way that uh, the token we are selling is uh, considered a share of the company. So you are actually investing into a real company which uh, will going to have real revenues with re and real profits who pay dividend at the end of the day. So the investor buys a piece of the company, uh, he owns a piece of the company, he can um, vote uh, on, on the uh, general assembly of the company and um, you know earns dividend over time. And of course, the company is going to be hopefully worth a lot at the end. So the share will also be worth a lot. Um, uh, so we choose to, to do the ICO instead of an IPO, which was usually done, but the IPO pass is very difficult to do. We all hope that this will uh, become true, but uh, there's never a guarantee, you know, uh, as with any investment. But uh, based on the figures we have, uh, this could be a scenario which is uh, possible. But even if it's only $300, it's still 10 times more than what you originally was invested. As much as I know your company, Casutel unites a group of professionals. Tell us about your team, please. Okay, so it's myself. Uh, I'm in telecommunications since 25 years or even more. Uh, there's David, who, who is uh, an engineer who lives in Dakar right now. Lives since 20 years uh, in West Africa. He's sort of British origin and has built TV networks and uh, is, is strong in, in broadcasting and in getting the licenses and permissions to build and construct. Then we have Anita on the team, which uh, worked for me since uh, many years in Iceland on, on uh, various projects there, the data center and, and uh, uh, the mobile operator. And we have Sachin on board, who is was especially hired for this project for uh, running the ICO. And then we have a lot of third party companies, which we work with since many years, uh, which we'll use to help us in building this up. Sounds good. What is the next step of development in your company? Well, the next step is, is to actually uh, get the license. We have like a pre-approval for the license. And uh, now we got the first money from the ISO already. And uh, we are now finishing the paperwork for the license. So we expect that to have in a couple of weeks. And then uh, we have to start constructing. Of course, uh, we have to collect uh, enough money uh, to be able to do this on the ICO. 
Great. What do you think about another interview with us after your successful ICO? Of course. No problem on that. Thank you for the interview. We wish you good luck with your ICO and success to popularization the internet in Africa. It was the CEO of Casutel, Andreas Fink in Colesco News Studio. See you.